Okay, so we're gonna install a new case and new tip on the TS100 iron. Man, they packed the tip really nice. It's a really tough plastic tube. I'll probably keep that for a project. And they corked both ends, so that's nice. This is the case. It's packed really nicely too. QR code. Oh wow, they, you even get new badges. You've got new buttons, screws, instructions. Um, oh, that's just garbage. So we'll throw that aside. Get rid of this. There it is. There's a bunch of different colors to choose from, but I always, I always like anything translucent. If only they had it in Game Boy Purple. That would be awesome. So, I believe this just unsnaps. I guess I could look at the instructions. They don't really say. Get my fingernail in there. Screwed on. There we go. So the top, that's kind of where it hit. It's hinged, and there's two snaps, and then that comes right out. Okay. Here's the Allen wrench that came with your iron. We'll just use that to take the tip off. And now we've got a really small. I think it. I think that's Torx. It's T4 maybe. I think that'll work. This be a captive screw? Nope. Okay, it comes out. So, let's set our screws aside. We can keep track of everything. And just like the clear one, I'm gonna slide my fingernail in there. Pull that off. So now that's off. I don't believe this screw has anything to do with holding it in. So I'm going to tighten that so I don't lose it. This screw, however... Well, they do say to pull that off. And we can look at this as a guide. Yeah, see, that doesn't really hold anything in. Okay, so yeah, use your old case as a guide. There's one, two, three screws holding it in. So we'll pull off the ground screw. That aside, note that the ground screw is a little longer than the torque screw, so that might help you remember. And then two small Phillips. So let's try this one maybe. Yeah, that's a good fit. Okay, so I'm using pH zero for that. Careful because that loosens the copper clamp for your tip. So I'm going to take a photo of that, otherwise, I might forget. Okay. Now let's set that aside and take out the other one. just a friction fit. And there's the old case. Okay. So here it is with the little display. Don't touch that. They gave us new buttons, but you know, they look identical to the old buttons, so I'm just going to keep those in the bag. Buttons are in. Carefully. Put our copper connector back in. Really only fits one way. See, it's going to touch those two outside pads. I'm going to tip the power connector in. I'm going to slowly push this down. I don't want to dislodge those buttons. Ok, 
Okay, you know, I think that that might be good. This could move a little bit that way. I really like this iron, but I don't like how everything just snaps together. But I probably had to do some of that because it's so small. So I've already forgotten I'm going to pull out the picture I had. This one has a little knob that goes through a hole. Now this is where having a magnetized screwdriver would be nice. I think I'll be okay. We're going to a brass connector so I'm going to get that kind of tight. And same deal with this one. It's a small knob on the side. saying the long screw was for the ground. So let's put that in. Slug that down. And the short screw, oh, not that one, that's the Torx. The short Allen wrench was for the tip. So that went in fine. Okay, nice. Now we can put this on. So it looks like you have to tip that in. But I've also got to push back this copper piece here. It's kind of like a spring. And I can see that I'm going to land right on top of it. So let me get a knife, maybe. So I'm just going to push that back. Keep tension on it. Maybe I can just push it back with this Allen wrench. And you can't just push that in because this bank has to go in. Dang it. Hmm. Maybe a long, thin screwdriver. There we go. That was kind of tough, but it looks right. That's the nice thing about the clear one. You can tell if you did it right. So we'll put the Torx back. these new stickers because those old stickers probably don't stick very well anymore once they're removed. <clears throat> so I'm just copying the old one. They've got the... Is, is, is the name of the company Mini? What is it? I don't know. But their logo is on this side. And you can tell which way it's up by the letter I. So I'm going to keep the clear on and pull off brown. There. Peel off the clear. Nice. It's on other side now. There. Now it's on. Stuck down good. Okay, so I'm just going to take pieces here, and this thing, Let's save that in case, I don't know, maybe I'll want a black one again someday. Let's put the tip on now. Button's still click, it looks good. Fingerprints all over the, there, that looks nice. Actually to the bottom because that's what the tip is stuck to. Very fancy. I wish that was a thumb screw. Insert's fine now. you're curious, this is the TS-ILS tip. Very, very fine. Here it is. 
Let's plug it in. Whoops. I pressed the menu button. Plug it in. Let's go to heat up. Good. 